guys. We'll do commentary after this lap. Such an annoying curve there. Right, better leave than third in that one. Previously I went back to second there. Right, goal time, very nice. Um, welcome to another episode. In the deep playthrough of Gran Turismo 7, this is the full lap um, of the circuit experience of Kyoto Driving Park. I don't even remember the name. Yamagiwa. Yamajiwa. I will quickly run you through the breaking points that I found. So, full throttle and once you clear the 50 meter marker start braking and not that much but uh, a little bit back to fifth and coast through this corner coast 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 and over here start applying throttle not immediately full throttle because you will go wide but you can apply i think 50 60 percent and then open it up once you're here you can open it up fully right curb a little bit trying to be a straight through here full throttle I do lift off momentarily over here as to not uh, hit the barrier over there but really trying to maintain speed here because it's basically a straight with some flows into it but you really want to carry each and every mile that you can uh, squeeze out of it over this long section so full, full throttle throttle this one similar to the first uh, bend at the 50 meter marker slightly break still keep quite some speed through it coast through it uh, play around with the throttle a bit if you think you're going a little bit too slow apply a bit more throttle if you're going too fast you go a little bit wide you uh, ease off of the throttle no braking it's only coasting once you are past like 50 60 percent of the corner start opening it up the th the throttle you can really apply some steering inputs and be a bit more aggressive let the car slide uh, onto this uh, curb over here but the, the main thing is indeed get on the power as soon as possible because there's again quite a long straight after it so full throttle what i found we have now this little slightly uh, kink to the right it's good uh, you know i think that you took the previous corner the the, the big one uh, 80 downhill uh, flowing corner that we just passed um, you know that I think you had a pretty decent uh, run there if you are um, yeah, I will show you shifting to sixth before the king to the right so here you do the corner play around with the throttle a bit coasting coasting and get on the power over here as soon as possible which allows you normally uh, once I did the sector test here I really was already shifting to sixth at the end of the curb over here so it, this run was not that good but uh yeah i shifted a little bit later ar around now but re you really want to be in sixth before you uh, go uh past this right hand fence. and then over here because i had quite some uh good speed i was quite early in sixth 
I already start breaking a little bit before the 100 meter shine, but if you have like a little bit of uh, a slower uh, run through the previous corner, then you can actually start breaking at the 100 meter sign. Depends a bit on how much speed you are carrying. But yeah, maybe be a bit uh, better to be conservative than overdo it, because if you overdo it, you totally miss that she came there and then you can start over. Well, back to thirds. Try to keep the car rolling and over here, uh, mid chicane, you can already apply some throttle. That, that first left-hander, I really coast through it. But over here, once you are uh, uh, facing the right direction for this corner, you can apply not like full throttle, uh, but 60, 70, uh, 50, 60, 70 percent. And then go over here and then over here start applying maybe short shift a bit to uh, short shift up to um, decrease the chance of spinning out but really get on the power as soon as possible like full acceleration here because again there's a little mini straight afterwards over here it's a bit of a blind corner you can already start steering in hit this curve and then over here as soon as the I think it says 135R or something. I don't even know what it says. By the way, um, one thing I did say. So you break a little bit before the 100 meter, back to third, goes through here. And I think I did say that I already applied full throttle over here, but that, that I don't think that's the case. Coast a bit, a little bit throttle, and also not even here. First, make sure the car is orientated in the right direction, like so. And then over here, uh, maybe a bit earlier, apply full throttle. So. Blind corner, steer into it um, already when you don't really, I think, can see the corner yet, but uh, yeah, you know it's here. And then this, ah, this is not 135R, it's 35R. Once that um, decal on the tarmac disappears, the numbers and the letters, that's where you start to break. Back to seconds. Goes through here. And once you hit the apex, after you have 50-60% uh, of the corner done, start applying um, the accelerator and don't apply it too violently because despite this car being four-wheel drive, it has a tendency to oversteer and spin out. So right here, full throttle. This one, slight, slight uh, lift off to get some weight to the front wheels, uh, a little bit more uh, steering grip. And also here, here you really have to brake. And this is a really tricky curb, it's quite high. Uh, the car really bounces a lot and can get easily unsettled and smash you into the barrier. So really try to be a bit conservative here. Uh, brake, coast and yeah, get on the power as soon as possible. You can ride that curb over there a bit. And over here at the 50 meter sign, uh, get back to uh, thirds. Initially I did second, but I think that's not needed. It's better thirds, less chance of spinning out when you uh, hit the throttle, uh, when the corner opens up again. Um, and yeah, you can, it's not like you're too low in the ref zone or anything. And open it up as soon as possible, up to, uh, start finish and I will now once more let the uh, in cockpit camera uh, replay uh, run for one lap without commentary and that's also of course you've already seen me do when the, the this lap when the episode started now a second time with the break points but it's also for me just to get a mental picture of this uh, this track for maybe uh, future races there circuit um, uh, or menu races i don't know menu book races here that's it also gets a little bit ingrained into my mind because this track it, i don't really recognize it that much from previous uh grand turismos i do think let's check it out it was at least i think in grand turismo sport uh one moment kyoto driving park one moment does it say which games? Yeah, 
appears in Sport and Seven, so it's a quite a recent uh, track, I would say. But yeah, it's also for me to um, get a bit of a picture um, imprinted in my memory, but also to see where, if I look at my own replay, where I think I could have done better or which uh, corners went quite okay. So it's just also a bit of a reflection and learning moment for myself. And then afterwards, we will also watch one round of outside replay because that for me is an integral part of the whole Gran Turismo experience. Um, uh, passing, uh, challenging objectives. And then afterwards, once you did it, uh, yeah, a bit of uh, relaxed time looking at the beautiful graphics and the, and the amazing uh, replay uh, camera shots. So we will be doing like so and like so beautiful sky by the way HDR lighting This side view is also a passenger view, it's pretty cool. But you really can better see all the detail that is put into the uh, cockpits, like with the little um, indicator stickers on all those uh, flip switches, the master switch with like a little uh, wire through it, like some safety wire. Pretty damn cool. Of course, this is the, the nostalgic camera view of the, the older um, Gran Turismo titles. I never did uh, chase cam, I always did this uh, first person cam. Pretty wide arches this car has, by the way. All right, um, here we go. <laughs> I really enjoy this track. Just like Autopolis, Japanese tracks, Suzaka, Suzuka, Fuji, Tsukuba, they're all pretty damn cool, I must say. Really making use of the um, aerodynamic downforce.
very nice. One uh, cool car, cool track, doable circuit experience while still providing some challenge. I really did it quite, I don't know, 10, 15 times, but really I did something wrong. I think it was uh, that second long uh, 170 degree corner uh, after the downhill and also the last corner before the start finish, which I took in second gear. I could have carried, uh, kept more, I could care, kept it in third and carry more speed through there. I think those are two of the uh, corners that, yeah, I just had to uh, figure out where I was losing time. But for the rest, so there certainly is a challenge, but it's not like Laguna Seca annoyingly hard. The car behaves well, so it's not super frustrating. to say we now have like um, uh, the big challenge up ahead Mount Panorama but that's not true we still have another uh, Kyoto driving park Miyabi let's see if we can do that quickly all right sector one straight a flow and then left Right. Ah, by the way, I do want to quickly see uh, the background shots. Just also for me to remember the uh, track better, to get a different perspective on it. It just helps. It are very cool shots, these ones. Also to see a bit like, is it a totally different track or is it the same? Yeah, this is the same, I think, as the, the other variants. It's just half of it and maybe with some shortcuts, but it's not like a totally different track like you have in Willow Springs, which are really like th th three variants or three totally separate tracks. And in this one, I think this corner may be new. Yes, this corner is new. I guess. Don't really reckon, yeah, this corner is new. Well, yeah, so maybe it is a totally separate track. Let's check that out quickly. Ah, no, it does. Loop in, but I still don't really get it. That helicopter view that we just had really showed it quite well. Like where the two tracks connect, so to say. No idea where this lies. I do see a downhill section there. That could be where in the full track the uh, chicane is. But then I cannot place this corner here. All right, we do uh, the auto driving park. Miyabi. One mile, very short. The track is short and basic, making it ideal for learning the basics. It's also not fun starting to search the internet for a description. Let's just, uh, for the fun of it, drive the full track. And then maybe even, can we do photo mode here? No. Um, and you know what? I will just drive it and do photo mode and then we can check it out ourselves
with photo modes to see whether this track actually loops into the bigger Kyoto Driving Park. Totally separate, actually. Alright, let's do an exit. We do like so, 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 so. We get the controller out. Sorry, guys, this is uh, taking way too much uh, more time than expected, but. Can actually go quite high earlier in another track I could not do this. Um, all right, does it here? This is what I mean. This what corner is that? That is the and it's so hard to. I don't even recognize that corner from the main track, assuming that is the main track. Here, there, here, here, the tracks. to loop in to another so there's probably also like a combination track between the two variants but I'm a little bit astounded that I don't really don't recognize this downhill section here was that the Chicane downhill. No, that chicane is much, I would say, tighter than this one. All right, I have no clue. Um, but for the rest, yeah, it seems to be a separate track. at least do the sectors try to do the sectors this episode still and then in between episodes i will check because i'm curious how these two uh, variants of kyoto hook into each other uh, all right straight on right hander and then left right should not be too difficult sector all right straight on right hander and then right left right right it's all about 
about breaking points. I do them. No, that's too late. I wanted to say the middle of the left curb. That was too late. I will just do the start of the left. I think 75% of the left curb. Now after 25% of the left curb here, so right here, right. This is that right, left, right. Right. We need to do that a lot quicker. I think I can much more abuse that um, chicane. <coughs> yeah, and I can get on the power quicker. Alright, that's good. The full one as well immediately. It's really not that hard, unless the full lap time is ridiculously uh, uh, tight. I don't know. No, too much braking on my part over here. Too slow into that corner. Well, I do think it's an important corner, so let's do that again. it much quicker so my breaking points must also be quicker or uh, earlier Jesus Christ man I make so many stupid mistakes Time. So that was really easy. Uh, we'll quickly run you through um, how I tackled it, even though the episode's already way too long. Um, Alright, full throttle, and then this long right hander. Once I see the curb starting on the right, so really already in the corner, so quite late. You shave a little bit of speed off, back to forth, coasting, coasting, coasting. Try to, uh, once you feel the car grip and, and not go wide anymore, but actually go a little bit to the uh, uh, inside of the corner, you can uh, proportionally apply throttle. And over here, you should be full throttle again. Ride the curb over here, make use of the width of the track. This one, slight uh, lift off, and as well as here, slight, maybe not even needed. Try to keep uh, pace through here, and if you have good pace through there, uh, with this uh, braking point over here, I would brake just before the uh, curb uh, starts at the left. Back two seconds, let the car roll, coast, and over here, really start. Uh, it's a four-wheel drive car, I think, so. 
quite a, a lot of grip, uh, smash the throttle over here as soon as possible. And over here, it's just a matter, I think I slightly lifted off just to get some grip on the front wheels to have some more uh, steering uh, momentum. But um, yeah, abuse this left curb right over it. And that basically means you don't even need to steer uh, right anymore for the uh, subsequent corner you can just it's basically straight on uh, from here you can also pretty much ride this curve and i'm really trying to to take that uh, she came as straight as possible and with as much acceleration um, uh, throttle as possible because you uh, afterwards it's the uh, it's the straight so any extra mile that you carry through there will you will carry through this whole section so any amount you uh, lose out here, it's um, time lost for uh, over a longer period. So it really can impact your your, your total uh, lap time. And there we go. And then now quickly, that's really for me part of Gran Turismo. Um, outside cam. Also to just Again, get the feel for the track, for any future races that we might have to do here. Cool, that blow-off valve that you hear. Very cool. Sound is so, I've, I'm repeating myself, but sound is so much better than earlier GT's uh, releases. And there we go, there it is. I don't think we will get that much of a um, reward for this one. Sixty. 3k yeah that's not a lot um yeah so the easy part is uh done now and that means the hard part is coming up of today's second christmas day gran turismo session and that is the circuit experience of mount panorama i've heard i wouldn't call it horror stories but a lot of people are stuck on this one the uh, part in the uh, mountains at the back, apparently, what the hell is a meeting place? Update list. Hmm. Okay, I, I'm stuck now. Ah, there are people. No. Nobody here. Um. Mount Panorama Motor Racing Circuit in Bathurst, Australia, I think it is. Uh, there's like this, this uh, back section going up a hill and down a hill, and especially the downhill part people are struggling with. Uh, so probably me as well. But and let's first, and for the next episode, I'm already looking at it. Uh, that's before starting in the next episode, I will also check these uh, camera shots to get a better feel for the relative sharpness, connectedness of corners, etc. Like this, this is so helpful with getting a feel for the track, its size, etc. I do see start to finish in the distance. It's actually a pretty cool track. The only thing is. Uh, just a little bit anxious about how hard it will be. This is the downhill section. But let's worry about that in the next episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next one. For the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming. Later.